As Haiti reels under a state of emergency, the U.S. military said on Sunday it had carried out an operation to airlift non-essential embassy personnel from the country and it added U.S. forces to bolster embassy security. The move was the latest sign of Haiti's troubles as gang violence threatens to bring down the government and has led thousands to flee their homes. In a statement, the U.S. military said, This airlift of personnel into and out of the embassy is consistent with our standard practice for embassy security augmentation worldwide, and no Haitians were on board the military aircraft. On Friday, Pentagon spokesperson Major General Patrick Ryder addressed this possibility and the potential for further involvement from the Department of Defense. We're exploring contingency options to ensure the security of our personnel at the embassy. No decisions have been made at this time uh, about potential deployments. I know there's been some press reports about a, a fleet anti-terrorism security team. What I can tell you is that DOD will not send troops to Haiti to support Haitian National Police security operations. We have no intention of intervening, uh, and we are not providing assistance to help the prime minister return to Haiti at this time. Haiti entered a state of emergency last Sunday after fighting escalated while Prime Minister Ariel Henry was in Kenya seeking a deal for the long-delayed UN-backed mission which the African country plans to lead. On Saturday, the U.S. State Department said Secretary of State Antony Blinken spoke with Kenyan President William Ruto about the Haiti crisis, and the two men underscored their commitment to a multinational security mission to restore order. Sigo con preocupaciones, dolores, la grave crisis que colpisce Haití. While on Sunday, Pope Francis said he is following with concern and sorrow the serious crisis affecting Haiti, and he led a prayer calling for the end of the violence.